Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to customize your MacBook. Make sure to stay till the end of this video as I'll be sharing some amazing tips that will make your life so much easier. The MacBook that I have is the 2022 M2 MacBook Air and I've been using it for a few days now and I've been loving it. If you guys want to see the unboxing video, it is linked down in the description box. We'll be talking about the following that you see on the screen. First, dock settings and hot corners. So you need to go to settings and to dock and menu bar. You can change the size of your dock and the magnification as well as to how big you want. You can also hide the dock which makes your Mac look less cluttered. If you want to see your dock, you can just press the F3 key. You can go to general and change the highlight color, accent colors, change your default web browser and customize settings according to your liking. Now the hot corners. You need to go to desktop and screen savers and then go on the bottom right and that shows you your hot corners. Each hot corner is assigned to a different task. You can see that on the screen. So for my right top hand corner we have the start screen saver, for the right bottom we have sticky notes, then for left bottom we have the launch pad and then for the left top we have the lock screen. Another really good feature is that you can change your keyboard brightness by going on the control panel and then keyboard brightness. And then you can change the keyboard brightness according to your style. I really like my keyboard to be on the bright settings. Now let's come to my favorite part which is the aesthetic wallpaper. You need to open Canva and then click custom size and type the dimension. 2560 into 1664 pixel and then go to Pinterest and select all the photos you like. If you guys are interested in any of the photos that I use, you can go to my Pinterest account which is linked down in the description. So to add the pictures, you need to select command C or copy and then go to Canva and command V to paste. This is a quick hack if you don't want to save the pictures and save up the space on your Mac. You can also change the highlights of the pictures, you can also change the effects, you can also crop it. You can add so many effects to match your aesthetic. Here I'm also adding a tennis picture because I'm a tennis player and I need some inspiration. Now go to elements and then type sticky notes and you can add as many sticky notes as you want and change the color and style to fit according to your aesthetic. Here I'm adding some text by clicking on the text box. Then you can change the style by adding font, changing the color, and also you can add curve by clicking on the curve option. And here I'm just adding my favorite quote and finishing it off by adding some aesthetic bobo stickers. Now you just want to save the image as a PNG and save it to wherever you want on your desktop or onto any file on your computer. Then just open it and select save as desktop image. And here you go. I just love the way it turned out. Now the custom folder icons. So here again we're going to go to Canva and select from elements whatever kind of sticker you want. I'm going for bow aesthetic and I've chose this flower in it. Then you can just add effects and save it as a PNG. Then you want to click on the image you saved onto your desktop and then use this magic tool to erase the white background. This creates the transparent image. Once you're done, you can command C, create a new folder, then right click and click on get info, click on the icon and command V to change the icon. You can also change the size of your folder on the desktop by clicking Command J and play with the settings as to how big or small you like it and rearrange it on the desktop as to fit your aesthetic. 
Google Chrome customization. So open Google Chrome and here I'm just removing all the shortcuts that I don't need. Then click on customize Chrome and then go to color and theme to change the color of the tabs to make it look more aesthetic. To add an image, click on upload an image from the device and then just save it and here you go. It's so easy to customize Google Chrome. Sticky notes. Just a very cool feature to just add a little to-do list or reminder. You want to open stickies and that just opens a new sticky note and then you can add whatever text you want as the to-do list or reminder and then you can change the font by going to the font at the top left corner and you can change the font, the color, the size, it's really cool and you can just change the size and you can also change the color by selecting the color option again matching your aesthetic. Now I'll be showing you how you can organize your files and folders in an aesthetic way. You just want to create some more folder icons that we did previously. Repeat the same steps. Click on the image command C. Create a new folder, arrange all the files inside of the folder, then right click, get info, tap on the icon and command V. This is a very cute little way to arrange all of your folders and files aesthetically with cute icons. Lastly, we will be talking about how to add aesthetic widgets. So you need to download this app called Color Widgets and there are so many different kinds of options to choose from. Select any one you like and then select any image. Color Widget itself provides you with many options and you can change the font color and the font style and save it. You can also add your own images by clicking on own image, select the font, the style and then click set widget. You can add as many widgets as you want. Once you're done, you want to open the time pane. You just want to edit all of the widgets that you don't want and delete it. Then you want to go to color widget and add all of the widgets sizes, small, medium, large, whatever you want. And it's okay if the widgets don't appear. Just restart your computer and they should appear. This is how mine turned out and I absolutely love it. You can rearrange the widgets according to your style. That wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment down below which feature was your favorite. Also let me know in the comment down below which video would you like to see next? Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media. They are linked down below. Here's a little fun shortcut page for you and thank you for watching.